What's up YouTube? Hello, um, just getting comfortable here. Um, it's been a while actually since I've actually done uh, a live uh, broadcast. What's up YouTube? That's good. Uh, from uh, Blind Tube Mayor Towers, where we are now. Um, <clears throat> just finished uh, Ballads of Essex, my rap video, uh, which is, uh, took me about three weeks. Uh, so a sense of uh, relief and um, pure, pure, unadulterated exhilaration and euphoria has overtaken me. Um, as you can see. So I thought I'd do another Stuart Lee uh, vid. Um, a rare clip, um, well rare in the, I mean you can find it on YouTube if you just, just type in Stuart Lee, but still it's quite rare if you can't be bothered to do that, I guess. Um, <clears throat> good, um, right, well let's bloody just um, dive right in and I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, afterwards after the you know the fact if if you like uh so qvt this is the text of the hymn all things bright and beautiful uh, it's my belief not only is this the worst hymn in the english language but it's also one of the shittest things ever written by anyone in any language ever um <laughs> i'm gonna explain why that is now right this is the chorus up here which you sing once at the start of the hymn and then a further seven times during it. <laughs> and it's my belief you don't need to do that. I think you can get the idea of what the hymn's about just from reading that through once, I think, right? So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to read it through once. I want you to see if you can understand what the hymn's saying. <laughs> Look out for key words, all right? <laughs> Here's how it goes. All things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. The key word is all there. <laughs> all those things have been made by God. That's what it's saying. All, you know, it's easy to understand. <laughs> You'd have to be stupid not to read that through once and under. It is totally crystal clear. He made them all. So given how clear that is, why is it necessary for the hymn writer to go on and give a further 19 specific examples <laughs> of some of the individual things God's made, in case when you read that through, he made them all, you didn't understand what it meant. You thought it meant he's made them all, but not these ones here. <laughs> They're special, they have to be individually accounted for. First verse points out God made each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, their glowing colours and their tiny wings. So four more things there, including a bird. <laughs> Which you don't need to be I told he's capitals. made a bird. Because you've just been told he made all things there. Two lines, and that covers a bird, surely. <laughs> The only situation you'd need to be told he'd made a bird, right, if you'd just been told he made all things, is if you'd read that first bit through, understood what it meant, had some kind of brain hemorrhage, <laughs> forgotten everything you'd ever known, looked up in the sky, seen a bird and gone, blow me tight, a bird, who could have made that? <laughs> Because that is covered in. But I like to think of it in mathematical terms here, where... <laughs> set A is all things. <laughs> set B is birds. Set B is a very clear subset of set A. <laughs> in fact, I would go so far as to say this needlessly overcomplicates a very simple idea. <laughs> Because basically you're either a thing, in which case you're in set A, or you don't exist, right? 
There's no point trying to get round it, trying to trick God. <laughs> trying to think of a thing you think he might not ever have thought of. <laughs> I go, I just thought of a lamb with a wasp's feet. <laughs> and it's Spanish. <laughs> Does he go, is it a thing? You go, yeah, he goes, so, hey, I win. <laughs> Two lines later, he made their tiny wings. <laughs> Which I think is doubly pointless under the circumstances, right? Because <laughs> not only is wings covered by all things, it's covered by birds as well, isn't it? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> set A, all things. Set B, birds. Set C, wings. Set C being a subset of both set B and set A there. <laughs> you don't need to be told he made wings. Unless maybe you'd seen some wings on their own somewhere, got a bit confused. <laughs> maybe in a Kentucky Fried Chicken shop late at night. <laughs> the only way to make any sense of this, right, is to assume the whole thing is an elaborate parody of the stupidity of a literal biblical creation idea, right? And the argument for that <laughs> is the last verse, which goes, He gave us eyes to see them, and lips that we might tell. How great is God Almighty, who has made all things well. Well, being a bit of an understatement, I think, given the enormity of this task. <laughs> so next time you're asked to sing this, just take along one of these and go, It's this! Can we go home now? Very good. So, uh, thank you, Mr Stuart Lee, for that. Uh, had a few technical problems there, as you uh, may have noticed. Um, by the way, my headphones appeared on my head. Uh, uh, just as if by magic it's not magic what i do is i you, you you film something and then you cut you cut it but then you cut the middle bit out and then you you go straight to the bit where where the headphones are on and it looks like um the headphones have appeared but actually i you missed the bit where i pick pick them up put them on and stuff so I'd just explain that anyway for you. Um, good. So, uh, yeah, we used to use, when I was um, a, a teen, we used to use Venn diagram, uh, the Venn diagram joke quite a lot. Uh, and I don't know if it was because uh, we saw that video, maybe, um, or if we were just, you know, as funny and clever as Stuart Lee. Uh, and that's how we came up with it. But uh, there you go. Oh, there is... Um, <clears throat> Miss Stuart Lee is obviously the best comedian that's ever been, but uh, there is a guy who doesn't like him, and uh, I'll just quickly show you his video. I actually like my women <clears throat> like I like my coffee. In a cup. <laughs> just been with my girlfriend to a nice little place run by some Italians. It was Italy. <laughs> Don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, so there he is. Um, it, it's, uh, I, can't, I don't know what his name is. I'll put it here. But um, he doesn't like Stuart Lee's one-liners. There's only two of them uh, for a start. And uh, they're obviously sarcastic uh, from the way that he looks into the camera. Sort of like that. Um, so thank you. All things bright and beautiful. Yes. Um, obviously, when we were kids and we were in assembly at school, um, we all had to sing stupid hymns. Uh, I think me and my friend's uh, favourite one to laugh at was uh, Oh Jesus, I Have Promised, uh, which maybe I'll do a video about. Um, but it, it's uh, a strangely sexual uh, him uh, for anyone who knows it you'll probably know what I mean um, and it, it sort of it sort of alludes to a strange relationship between the person writing it, it and Jesus uh, and there's lines about storms of passion and things like that which are a bit a bit weird um, quite topical actually seeing as uh, it's Easter Saturday the day famously when Jesus didn't do anything just lay there dead in the tomb um good right well thank you uh and um it's not it says on the third day he rose actually doesn't it but you have good friday he died 
So it should be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Ah, Monday. Easter Monday, he rose from the dead, of course. That's why it's a bank holiday. Uh, perfect. Right, thank you. Uh, great way to end this Easter-themed, as I've just decided, uh, Stuart Lee video. And um, don't nobody go nowhere. <laughs>